And uh, there's a lot of people back here. Oh, <laughs> Too man, many we're people. We yeah. Yes, we're starting. Oh shoot. Hi world. So today we're gonna be taking a. I'm gonna. <laughs> Are we ready? Are we ready? Are you ready now? How about now? Today we're gonna be okay. doing. What are we doing, Gibson? Astrology. Okay. Astronomy. Also, Astro not cosmetology. Astronomy. This is Dylan. Y'all have met Dylan. This Rico. is our new special. Rico. Rico. That's this, his. That's Rico. Rico. This Rico. is Rico. We're gonna be doing a, 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 a horoscope love compatibility test, and I, I say we start off with Dylan and Gibson. Dylan. Let's go, I, Dylan. I like that. I like that. Okay. Uh, I'll set this up here real quick. Uh, Gibby! January! 23rd! 23rd! 23! Oh, four? No. Yes. Dylan! August 30th! Oh, three! Yes! Good night! Alright, so, Re I'm an aquarium. I'm understand. Exactly! They got me right for once. Except they're so generic, they literally... Could be any of these. I'm kind. That degree of compatibility between your two birthdays is very high. Very high. You day. have all it takes to create a successful relationship because the days in which you are born have energies that are closely related. What does that mean? Wow. The, let me finish reading. The compatibility test of your birth month showed that the relationship between the two of you will probably be marked by differences. The age difference between the two of you age difference is of one year's. One year. One year. <laughs> yeah. English lesson. This can oh represent God. both an advantage and a disadvantage. The success depends on your understanding of the differences in your relationship. So y'all are compatible. That's what I'm saying. What is going on? What are y'all trying to... T <laughs> Compatibility. <laughs> hey, Rico. Huh? July. 30th. All right, Nathaniel, birthday. June. It's Isn't it May? June. It's May, eighteenth. <laughs> okay. Two thousand and three. Is it three or four? Oh, wait, no, two thousand two. Sorry. It's four. Bruh. Bruh, he's younger. It's four. No, two thousand and two. Think logically. It's four. Rico is two. four. Two. It says the exact same thing. It's gonna. Wait, there's more sections. By, by feelings and name and by blood type. Apparently. Your lover's yeah. name. Gibson. How much do you love him on a scale of 1 to 10? 1,000. How much do you think he... How, you gotta put this. I don't want to see this. No, it's how much do you think... How much do you think? think that they love you back? Yeah. Come on. One. <laughs> <laughs> how much do you think that ones around believe in your relationship in a scale of 1 to 10? 100%. Or 1 to 100. Uh, 10. 10. 1 to 100? You put 10? Yeah. Sounds you like can't putting, have a thousand. Sounds like putting... No! Like putting uh, 100. <laughs> or 54. Ooh, we're barely above 50. <laughs> Granted, well, I feel you like put you a put one for joking you answers. Do you want to put better answers in there? Put better answers. What, what, what's this? Well, the one how much do you actually love me, Gibson? No, how think. much do you love me? How much think? do you think? Don't be sheep. Follow your own path. I wonder if it'll increase if we just add a zero. Yeah, I mean, you've gotten the wrong answer every time, so... Nice. Kind of fun. Let's see. 67%! Chances that Carter and Gibson are meant to be together. You know what? I'm gonna fix this real quick. Y'all just hold on. Uh, whoever's editing this, probably Gibson. Cut this out. I refuse. What? How is it still not 100%? Boy. We found, found a website. We found it. Discover the key to your unique life path and personality. Type your birthday here. Enjoy my my. I have a, I have a short attention span. It's shiny. Oh, I want shiny. What? Stay back here. What the is, big boys are talking. What the is, adults are at work. Get your free birth chart, man. Let's learn about yes, Carter. love life. Yeah. You mean I have a chance? <laughs> no. You. Are that daily love? Let's figure out what you're doing in your love today. I see a cat. Relationship may seem to be on hold with today's. What the heck? What? I don't. 
It means I haven't found love recently, which yeah, is we know. true. Making you feel as though you have somehow been cut off from the ones closest to you. <laughs> Maybe there is some merit to this astrology stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is most likely due to an attitude or stiff mindset, okay, which there needs, is some, there is some merit. <laughs> which oh needs talking through to help it clear. You need to see where you are not being true to yourself and do what it takes to r- remedy okay, this. Buddy. It's all right. It's a- <laughs> right there. Yeah. All right, Gibson, read up. What you got? All right. There has to be a very good reason why you haven't been able to have an honest with someone close to you. <laughs> this is being highlighted today by the planetary configuration. There is... A good reason why you may. <laughs> I I was reading that word and I was like, God, I forgot how to pronounce the word, but I had already started it. Per- but then I, I remembered. It was right between like, constellation and configuration. configuration. There's a good reason why you may have felt that you can't speak openly, but if you are to be happy, you need to be able to talk about what is stopping you from being completely truthful. Truthful. All right. Yo, you may find the celestial alignment particularly difficult today as you have very little real energy to cope with a certain situation. (laughs) You could feel hemmed in by someone and this is making you tired. It needs some careful talking through, which may not be easy, but is definitely worthwhile. You will have to take the first tentative steps toward a real breakthrough. Okay, what? Why are you doing that to me, bro? I don't know. Why are you calling like, me out like this? I don't this? know. It's calling all of us out, dude. I, like, Nathaniel, I, I, you're I, next. I, I, like, I know what, what he's talking. talking. Who's Nathaniel? I am Rico. Rico. Oh, Rico, you're next. Watch Let's Rico see what's again. going on. All right, Rico, you're up. No, <laughs> 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 it isn't that. I can't even read. Today's emotions may seem to be a bit frozen, or perhaps for some reason you're cut off from your deeper feelings. The planetary alignment reveals that you... I can't read. (laughs) (laughs) Reveals that you just cannot quite reach out to others. You may have a lot on your mind or need to talk, but could feel a little fearful about something. You will have to make an effort. Not true. Of course you're going to say that. I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on Let's keep looking. I don't need to talk, okay? Shut up. This video has already gone off the rails. Let's see what your daily dating is. Me? Yeah. Rico. Rico's daily dating. Let's see what my daily dating is. Are things going smoothly? Are, are things going smoothly? It's hard to tell, isn't it? What you need to do is look Rico, beneath the surface and speak. find out what's you're really lying. going on. You're Fortunately... Being... Others will be happy to help you as usual. I plead the fifth. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, get back here, Rico. Rico. I'm back to Puerto Rico. Oh, whoa, 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 deja vu? I'm, I'm having deja plead, vu right now. I plead, really I plead the vu. fifth. I don't like this thing anyway. What, what do you want to read mine? No, I don't. Yes. Well, uh, yeah. He's very well All right, time. Rico. Oh, tell yeah, us about Rico. <laughs> Carter's. What, the devil is in the details right now more than ever. Read from there. <laughs> Fortunately, you have an eye organizationalized gusto to whip all those little chores into and tasks into shape. Are you, do you true. are you calling women and and or men chores? No. I never said that. Uh, that's it what your like this is what your astrology yeah, said. No, 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 no. Mama said that it wasn't me, so uh, 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 it wasn't me. Uh, I'm just saying, uh, it seems as if from your astrological signs, because these are obviously 100% factual. Let's go expose. Is this the, are you shooting click on the worker for that one? I don't know, like it'd be. Yes. Hey, just read your lines. Shut up, you're not supposed to ask, not supposed to ask questions. Don't go off script. Why are you going off script, dude? Dude, You're supposed to know to get off book. We we can get, we we, we can cut this out. We can cut this out. Come on, shut up. A little improv never hurt anybody. Shut up. No, read the script. If your friends have been a little too nice lately, they they may have ulterior but innocent and well-meaning motives. Expect to be asked for a favor today, which you, being you, will gladly grant. Okay. I need a little bit. They already have favor. I need a little bit of money, you know. (laughs) You need money. That's already happened. Dylan's being used. Love compatibility. We found it. Hey! 
when Leo and Aquarius join together in a love match, the merging of Aquarian foresight and Leo creativity causes people to take notice. These partnerships, this 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 partnership is energetic and unstoppable. This and although occasional comp competitions may occur, <laughs> brought to you by Starp. There is never a dull moment for these two. Their signs are congenial, yep, congenial. and have a good Close relationship. Enough. Both tend to be idealistic and highly motivated. Both are attracted to all things novel and are thrill seekers. They may even occasionally turn life into a giant game of truth or dare. That's really close. I'm not reading the rest Relationship. of Relationship. Both are attracted to all things novel and are thrills. Wait, you already read It's that. the same thing. Wait, why are you putting that like that? That's not how you format things. Y'all are up. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. It's Yo, practical. Grab the mic. Both of these signs employ a practice. Uh, pra Practically? Boy, practic yeah. Can you practicality. Okay, there we go. Both these signs employ practicality in their daily lives hey, at the most efficient hold on, means. Hold on, hold on. We did just graduate, so we kind of gave up yeah. on life. Yeah, we can't As the most efficient here. means to most problems. <laughs> they can be quite sincere and devoted to one another as people both have a great deal of integrity. Virgo likes Taurus' strength and dedication, while Taurus appreciates Virgo's quick mind. And then I don't. Are we reading the rest or just that? No, that's it. Well, there's a lot more, uh, we, mm, I don't think we have time for gosh. When Virgo and Leo join together in a love match, dude, ah! stupid peacock, they have initially overlooked common interests and feel they have nothing to gain from one another. <laughs> this is a relationship that evolves over time, each partner gradually understanding and appreciating the other. Leo is extra... Extroverted, dominant, and shit charismatic, and often has a short fuse. Yes. Yeah, we know. Virgo is studious and withdrawn, possessed of more versatility versatility than Leo. <laughs> is super out of Although there the are differences, they make a wonderful love match when each partner warms up to the other's unfamiliar style. So that's me and the other dude. Me. And you, <laughs> the other dude, like he's not. What standing, other dude? Like the one standing right. How, in how front long of you? have you and I been friends for, dude? Literally, did you not hear the short fuse? Who else in this room would they be talking about? Yeah. Me. Come on. Let's go, let's go. All right, y'all, take it away. When Taurus and Aquarius come together, they can move mountains. If they can figure out how <laughs> to coordinate their efforts, Taurus is practical, down to earth. Approach to life is about as opposite as can be to Aquarius, unconventional. Out of this world approach to just about everything. Tauros, they re that's the Pokemon. Tauros, <laughs> <laughs> resists change, and Aquarius is the most progressive of all 12 signs of the zodiac. How do these two get along? They, then, <laughs> then they <laughs> may appear to have few common interests. But they share a very strong desire to succeed, which means they may make better business partners than lovers. We gotta start a business. Yo, all I'm saying is I'm a great cook. Yeah. Ah! Wait, we gotta keep... I'm gonna... It's okay. Oh my god, no! I ain't reading all that. We're opinionated! Yeah.